hello everyone in this video let us use the script now to get the list of workflows in your jira instance and also to use workflow manager for doing other useful things so today let us continue using the uh, component accessor and i have been talking about uh, component accessor quite a lot because using comp component accessor you can do a lot of wonderful things and uh, one such thing is uh, the workflow manager now what i want to do today is i want to see the list of workflows and for doing for doing that you need to use a workflow manager so i have already defined this variable here called uh, workflow manager which is of course uh, uh, using the method get workflow manager now let us see what we can do so if i type in workflow manager dot uh, and take a look at the list of available uh, methods useful methods so we have something like get workflow and it will take one argument which is uh, issue so we don't really want to do it right now so i believe it will give you the name of the workflow for a specific issue if you pass the issue object so we'll probably take a look at uh, in a moment but uh, what i wanted to do is uh, i wanted to use this method called uh, get workflows so there is a method that will return each and everything and this can be really useful if you are doing some analysis of your jira instance and uh, if you do something like this star dot uh, or maybe just take a look at the size let us see how many workflows we have in the jira instance if i go back to my script uh, which is already linked to the uh, server uh, so th this particular script that i'm running get workflows is basically picking up the 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 code the file that i just uh, showed you so we have right now five workflows and if i take a look at my workflow list here i indeed have five workflows now this is a collection or or maybe a list i believe it's a it's a collection of uh, workflows uh you can iterate over this uh, collection and you can fetch the name so let me see what all we can do here so when you have the individual workflow objects you can further do a lot of interesting things with it like uh, you can uh, take a look at the transition names or you know we'll, we'll probably get into that uh, in a future video but i don't really want to get into the uh, into the details of a workflow itself so workflow workflow is one of the most important concept in jira in case you are new to jira and uh, it is quite powerful and we need uh, to spend quite a lot of time to understand how it works i mean not really the working of workflows from the ui it is not very complicated it is all about you know having the different states and transitions and uh, you know within a workflow you have conditions validators and post functions and so on so of course th th there is some learning curve when you have to understand how it works but uh, to explain in a simple manner you have basically different states and uh, different uh, transitions so basically from one state to another state uh, you can go from one state to, to another state uh, if there is a, if there is an available transition now we will definitely take a look at the internals of uh, the workflow but i want to basically show you things like you know getting a list of workflows so if you do get name or just uh, name and if you go back to your script and run it you can see here that we have the name of the workflow uh, which is fine there is also a method called as uh, i believe uh, i'm just trying to understand uh, you know what all we can do here so there is another method that i wanted to take a look at and that is uh, get active workflows so you may have uh, maybe hundreds hundreds of workflows in your jira instance but uh, you don't really want to worry about the inactive ones or maybe you want to delete them if you want uh, for example in this case i do have these three workflows jira 
classic default workflow and uh, new workflow. So this new workflow is something that I created just now and uh, I may want to get rid of it. So it is always good to have this list of active workflows that you can uh, maybe fetch and uh, maybe want to delete them later on if you want. So let us also take a look at uh, the I'll type in get workflows and uh, I may want to take a look at something like get all actions. So I made a video or uh, I think long back on how to make a transition. If you search in my playlist, you will find it. But uh, when you're working with transitions, you will be dealing with actions for sure. And if you run this, let us see what we get. So we basically get, you know, different uh, transitions. And uh, of course, it is showing it for everything, uh, like for all the workflows, um, like, you know, create issue, close issue and so on. And uh, let me also also check what all we can f do. We have something else here. Uh, no, I think this is fine. So basically, this action is important. We'll uh, definitely take a look at uh, how actions work. And basically, if you if you talk about a workflow, you basically have uh, different states and these transitions. So actions are definitely very important if you want to do something with the workflows like making a transition or uh, you know moving issues from one state to another state uh, of course by making a transition uh, one thing that i wanted to also talk about is uh, if you want to find out the workflow of a specific issue so it will take one uh, the, you have to basically pass in the issue object and uh, we need to declare one issue object so what i'll do i'll copy the code here that I have with me handy from I'll copy it from the other script and uh, what I will do now if you're on net uh, not not net beans if you're on IntelliJ if you press alt enter whenever you see a red line it will maybe do some it will basically suggest few things for you for example right now it says uh, uh, import this class so that is what I'm doing so once you do this and if you go back to your uh, instance and if you maybe search for maybe one of the issue, let us say Scrum 23 and PM1. So basically what I can do here is now I can uh, I can uh, pass the issue object, which is in this case 23. And it will give me the name of the workflow. So let us see how it works. So right now we are looking at Scrum 23 and the workflow is... Uh, software simplified workflow for project scrum and if i go back to the script my console it will give us the name of the project quite useful in my opinion i think uh, um, for doing automation i mean you need to know these things if you want to understand how jira java apis work you need to basically understand you know different uh, D different API calls that you can uh, make to fetch the information relevant to you, relevant to maybe the automation that you're trying to build. Uh, I'll, I'll probably try it for maybe one more issue, maybe PM1. So PM1 is uh, the issue that I will use. And if I run this again, hopefully I'll get something here. And uh, this is this is definitely correct. So I have been uh, you know making a lot of videos on uh, script runner. I think I should have closed like seventy five videos. I don't even know, or maybe more. Uh, but what I have been talking about is that when you have different snippets of code, like when you how to create an issue, how to add users to a group, how to get a list of projects, how to get a list of issue types, and uh, when you have these different things, these different pieces of code handy with you, and whenever you have to build build some automation, whenever you have to write, let us say, write a code for doing something using Scriptner, if you have script Scriptner installed, in my opinion, you should have it if you want to manage your Jira instance. 
uh, not trying to sell it, but I think it is really a useful and must have add on. So when you have these uh, snippets with you always, you can quickly do the automation because uh, in the end, it is all about uh, joining these uh, different snippets together. And what I do is I, whenever I write code, I try to create a method, a simple method. So basically if I have to get something, let us say if I'm trying to get a workflow, I mean, it, this is of course something, there is a method already, get workflow. But in case you have to do something uh, with some additional logic, I enclose everything in uh, my own method. So I can always copy and paste it whenever I need to in a different uh, maybe file and uh, that is how you do basically programming you have a problem to solve you break down the problem into smaller chunks and you solve one small problem at a time so <clears throat> i hope you have been enjoying uh, watching these uh, series on uh, script and i will definitely continuing making these uh, videos and if you have any suggestions do let me know and uh, give me your feedback so i hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and you learned something new today Thank you very much.